Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento 2 Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to upload product images in Magento 2. And it's so much easier in Magento 2 compared to Magento 1.9 or earlier versions by a country mall, isn't it, Dave? Yeah, I mean, it's just so much more intuitive than Magento 1 was. That's right. So with that said, let's jump across to our desktop and we'll catch up there with you in a few seconds time. So Dave, starting from the dashboard, we're going to go into products and then into catalog from the left hand menu. Now we do have a Thrustmaster joystick, which we need to go and add eight images to, and that'll be at the top of our list. And by the way, do follow us along in your system while we're talking you through this tutorial. So let's go and click into that product. So Dave, right now we don't have any images on this product just yet, but that's about to change. If we scroll down, you'll see that we've got this section here, images and videos. And this is where you can add images to your products. Also, a quick note, see the add video button. We have a separate video tutorial to show you how to set that up because you will need a Google developer's key. That sounds really scary, but if you can manage copy and paste, it's really easy to do. And that will allow you to add Vimeo or YouTube videos or upload your own videos to your products as well. Anyway, coming back to product images. Now, Dave, we can either click on this icon and we'll get the traditional pop-up window. So in here, we could then go and select those images and then click on open. Or what you can do is that I've got the same folder open here with those same eight images, is that you can select and highlight those images and then drag and drop them. Now, Dave, unlike Magento 1.9 and things like that, where you had to go and individually select the images and then you've always forgot to press the button called upload images. There isn't any of that. You don't need to press the button to upload the images. As we saw with just as I was talking then, is that those images have now been added to our product in our Magento store. Now, if you click on the little link below here, which says images and videos, that will jump down the left hand side on here. And it means that you can just rearrange these images. So depending on which image you want at the first or in the end, you can just rearrange these images and maybe you don't like that one when they have the box on it, you can go and click on delete and remove that image. Oh, actually that was an accident. We do want that one. So we can just click on the little camera icon, click on the image which we want to upload. And then Dave, we can see that the image is being uploaded here in the background. Yeah, that's so easy. So much easier than the general one was. Yeah, so much easier. Now, if you did want to make one of your product images the base image, or in other words, the first image which your customer sees, so if they're just navigating around on your Magento site or they've made a search, that first image which you see, if you would like to make it the base image, so that's what it's called, a base image, you just click the little tag in the bottom right hand corner. So maybe you would like this one, if this first image is being the base image, click on the tag and there you go, that's going to be the first image which the customer sees. So they'll see that when they're navigating categories, it will be the first image in the product detail page and it will also be the first image which they see if they do a search on your website. Also, if you double click, so Dave, did you see I just double clicked on that image or click yep. on that, one, that image there? you'll get this additional menu where you can add in additional text or alternative text for that product image. And you can also set the other values for them as well. So you can set whether it's the base image, whether it's the small image and the thumbnail or not any of those at all. So if we go back to the one which we chose a few moments ago as being our base image, which was that one there because I've just made it the base. If we double click on that one and you'll see that by ticking that, can you see it's already been and selected those for us? So with that done, we just click the little cross in the top right hand corner, click on save, and that's it. That's the product images which have now been added to our product within our Magento 2 store. Now, Dave, there is that add video button. That's extremely cool, but does require you to have a Google developers API key set up. We do have a separate video tutorial to show you how to do that. It sounds really scary, but like we said, if you can manage copy and paste, you can also add product videos to your product pages within your Magento 2 website very, very easily. And also, Dave, that's something which required an additional extension in Magento 1.9, and it's now in built into Magento 2. So with that said, we sincerely hope this video tutorial has been in help to you and your business. From myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. 
Cheerios. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.